And a great to welcome to our Book Talk segment today, a very famous author. She is a New York Times best-selling author, particularly with her Fool's Gold Romance series. She has a new one out now. It's called Thrill Me. We're joined today by Susan Mallory on the telephone. Susan, good to talk with you. How are you? I'm great. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, good to have you with us. And uh, first of all, congratulations on the success of these books. This is a, a Harlequin Romance book, so you're doing, uh, you're doing a lot of great work over there. Thank you. I have a really good time. I worked for them a long time ago as a temp job when I lived in New York for about a week. But it's an interesting place, Harlequin, the Harlequin Romance people. <laughs> yes, the uh, the gentlemen who work there become completely desensitized. They can discuss wedge heels with any woman <laughs> in, in America. <laughs> well, first of all, the, the, for the people that have followed you, but maybe some people listening uh, have not, uh, with the Fool's Gold uh, Romance series, this is basically a town you created, right, uh, that, that people are really, uh, really uh, drawn to in these stories. Yes, I did create the town. I learned uh, it is easier if I make up my town because the freeway goes where I want it to go, um, <laughs> and that can be helpful. And it started as a three-book series, um, and it's just, I hope the readers would respond to it and like it, and it turns out they loved it. And uh, this is book 18 in the series, although I was very careful. I've written each book so it can, can, can completely stand on its own. I find it frustrating because I'm a huge reader, to start to pick up a book and find out I'm completely lost because I'm in the middle of a series and you have to have read from book one. So I, I vow to never do that. <laughs> so readers can just start. If this is your first one, pick it up, give it a try. You will not be lost. You'll meet people who obviously had their own book, but you don't need to know what happened to them to enjoy what's going on with our characters. So if you bought this one first, you're not going to miss out on anything. You can go back no, and read the early all. ones. So that's, that's not good at too. all. That is, yeah, I did that very specifically. And Fool's Gold is a, is a mythical town in California, right? You, you, I know you lived out there for a while. You're, excuse me, you're in Seattle now, right? But you lived in California, so you based it a little I bit did. on where you lived? I, um, well, I wish. No, I grew up in Southern California. I went to Burbank High. Um, so, uh, but this is set in the, the foothills of the Sierra Nevada. And um, I, I love the location, and it allows me to do a lot. There's mountains, there's wineries, you know, sort of the best of all worlds. And the town is uh, has really become its own character, and readers respond to it and talk about how they would love to go there. There's festivals all the time. And I agree, I would love to spend the holidays in Fool's Gold. I think it would be quite magical. To call. I guess in a sense, uh, where the, the TV show, uh, uh, Andy Griffith show, Mayberry was a town that, that people wanted to kind of be part of, and, and you're, you've kind of created that same thing in, in your books, right? A town that people either wish they grew up in, or maybe part of their existence wasn't a town somewhere like that, but uh, this is more idealic, right? Yeah, I, there's, yes, it's, uh, there's not a lot of bad stuff happening. I don't write those kind of books. I write the funny, sexy, beach read kind of books, mm -hmm. so my goal is when someone puts down the book when they're they're finished or they have to go to work or something they've left those few chapters they're feeling they're just feeling really good and um and so I, li I like to write a more escapist fiction than, you know, no child is going to be kidnapped and tortured in my book, <laughs> ever, ever. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> we good have to puppies know. and kittens mm -hmm. and, and hot guys, yeah. And Thrill Me, uh, the, the main character is, is a Maya Farlow, right? And she, uh, yes. she, she's the one that the story revolves around, and I understand there's a lot of men involved. Or it's a few men involved in her life at that point, right? Well, Tell us what you can. Well, it's just one. <laughs> it's it's one, one boy, one girl. Um, but uh, the hero, Dell, he is uh, the oldest of five Mitchell brothers, so each of the brothers will get their own story in subsequent books. So, in fact, mm -hmm. I just finished the second one uh, of the five brothers. I just finished Aiden's book about two weeks ago. So. I'm working my way through the brothers, but uh, so yes, uh, Maya is really fun, and uh, it's a reunion story, which I don't do very often, um, and I just don't think that way. I don't get those kind of ideas, so it was really fun to be able to do a relationship where they knew each other 10 years ago. They were actually engaged, and Maya broke things off, and now they're both back in town and being forced to work together on a project. Uh, Fool's Gold has a new slogan. It's a destination for romance, and so the mayor has asked them to put together together a video campaign celebrating the new slogan. So that's what they're going to be working on. Yeah, the uh, slogan for uh, destination for romance. That's the, that's the slogan she comes up with, right? And that, that, that yep. takes off from it, there, the romance. It does. <laughs> so uh, a lot of fun, a lot of fun with them. But when, when you write a, a series of books like this, you said this is number 18 now, and then they're all standalone stories, but uh, uh, is it a challenge to come up with different plot lines, or what's your process for doing that? The plot lines aren't that difficult. What's hard for me is keeping track of the details. The 
you can imagine after this many books, it's been six years, um, it's very easy to get things wrong. So I have a 300-page Bible that literally talks about every business I've mentioned, all the characters, what they look like, what the pets are, how old everyone is, which is all managed by my amazing assistant because I couldn't possibly do that. I would just be banging my head against the desk over and over again, and no one wants that. Um, so I have a whole system for keeping everything um, in order. <laughs> Still, mistakes are made because they, they happen. And then the romances are, are a little bit independent of that. I come up with those independently. Sometimes readers will suggest a couple, and I always consider that. Sometimes, like with the Mitchell brothers, I know I have five brothers, so there's going to be five books. <laughs> so I've sort of planned out what those are going to be. So, um, yeah, so the, the town is a little bit independent for me in the writing process than the actual storyline. Do, uh, do you write longhand? Do you write on a computer, or how do you go about it? I am a computer girl. Yeah. Um, I think on a computer now. I don't think I can could think longhand, plus my hand would cramp. Um, <laughs> so, I, uh, yeah, I, I write in the morning, and I do my other non-writing but related to my book work in the afternoon whenever possible. So um, I write while I'm fresh. Yeah, I've, I've talked to uh, other writers of, of novels and, uh, and there's a specific time of day I guess most writers tell me that they like to sit down and just get that discipline you know for this time, period of time I'm going to write for whatever it is, two or three hours. Do you work that way? I do pages. If I work by time I have incredibly organized paper clips and actually nothing on the screen. So I set a page count goal every day day yeah. and um, if I'm done in two hours then yay me and if it takes me till eight o'clock that night it takes me till eight o'clock I know as we talk uh, today, you're heading, I, I believe, according to the notes I got, there's a Fool's Gold retreat, right, in Chicago. So you're going to be heading there to meet fans of the, of the series. I know. I'm really excited. I fly out tomorrow morning. And, uh, yeah, it starts Friday and goes through Saturday. And readers are coming from all over, which is spectacular. And we're going to hang out. And there's everything from Fool's Gold bingo to a photo booth. They'll be getting lots of goodies and, and copies of Thrill Me, and I'll sign, you know, they'll bring back lists, I'll, I'll sign all the old books, and we're just going to have so much fun. There's a lunch, there was a full school cookbook, and I believe the lunch menu is based on the cookbook, and so I'm very excited. I love spending time with my readers. We, we just get along. They're lovely ladies, and they're a lot of fun, and we talk Fool's Gold, and um, I, it's its like a little mini break for me. I'm very, very excited. I can't wait. Yeah, it must be rewarding, you know, like, like the, the soap operas are on television. People read these romantic uh, novels, and they really get attached to not only the story, but, but to you as a writer. So that must make you feel, uh, feel good as an author. It, it's lovely. And the thing that's really, I mean, when you think about it, you know, in the course of the day, somebody can say, oh, I really like that show you did, or, or I, I thought that was great, or you know, people hear from their boss, oh, good job. I literally have people standing in line to tell me they love what I do for a living. It is it is the most amazingly wonderful thing. It is such a blessing to be able to go to an event like this and have people say, I love your work, because I work in solitude. It's me and some pets all day long. Um, and there's very little feedback because it takes me three months to write a book. So then I turn it in and I do revisions and then, uh, nine or ten months later, it's published. So by the time it's out, it, it, it feels so far away. I've probably written three more books since then. So to then be able to connect with a reader and sit down and talk about a book, um, it, it is just truly amazing. It is a wonderful, wonderful thing to have happen. So I'm, I'm so excited about the event. And whenever I get to get out and meet my readers, um, it's like the best part of what I do. The name of the book is uh, Thrill Me, part of a Fool's Gold romance series, and we've been talking with Susan Mallory today. And Susan, give out your website. People can uh, get in touch with you. Yes, it's uh, SusanMallory.com. There is a lot of information there. And um, also, if people want to try Thrill Me, there's a coupon for a dollar off, and I love a good coupon. Um, <laughs> so, yes, definitely. And come see me on Facebook. We have a lot of fun. Great. Susan, pleasure talking to you. Again, congratulations on the series, and when your next one comes out, love to have you back on then. But uh, thanks for joining us. I would us. appreciate that. Thank you so much. If you'd like to order the book we're talking about, please go to DougMilesMedia.com and enter the author's name in the Amazon search box. Thank you for listening. Please come back soon for more conversations here at DougMilesMedia.com. This has been a presentation of Doug Miles Media, all rights reserved. You can listen to or download previous programs at iTunes, Stitcher.com, or DougMilesMedia.